A federal judge recently ruled it's illegal for government money to be spent on embryonic stem cell research. The ruling has reignited what has always been a very hot debate. Some scientists say research is crucial to developing new treatments for disease, but others say that adult stem cells present just as much scientific opportunity. Well, let's debate it. Dr. James Shirley is a stem cell researcher and was a plaintiff in this lawsuit that resulted in the latest decision. And Dr. Art Kaplan is the director of the Center for Bioethics at the University of Pennsylvania. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you, Ms. Green. All right, Dr. Shirley, I want to start with you. Why take on this lawsuit? Well, we're taking on this lawsuit because it's an important action in terms of preserving the quality of science and making sure that uh, taxpayer dollars are being used to the best that they can be. Uh, more specifically, uh, the problem is, is that human embryonic stem cell research has three problems. Uh, one of them is the research is unethical. It's unethical because embryos are living human beings, and this research knowingly leads to their injury and their death. Uh, the second reason is uh, because the research as proposed is illegal. We have a law in this country that says this type of research, which leads to such injuries to human research subjects, is illegal. And the third thing is that the public needs to understand that in the absence of human embryonic stem cell research, as it has been described, there is no loss to our abilities to have better therapies for the many diseases that patients suffer from. Right. And the reason for that is that there are alternatives, such as adult stem cell research, and we shouldn't forget conventional disease research, which has been ongoing in this country for many years. All right, let me bring in Dr. Kaplan and give him a chance to respond. I mean, is it accurate to say that we could do the same research in different ways on adult stem cells uh, and get the same information or results? We absolutely don't know yet. Adult stem cell research has certainly been productive, but there are many, many scientists, the majority of scientists, I think, working in the stem cell area who say we've got to explore the embryo option too. Remember, we're talking here about a policy that both President Bush and President Obama permitted. This lawsuit hasn't stopped embryonic stem cell research. It's put it back in the private sector, and it's driving it overseas. China, Korea, India, many nations in Europe are still pursuing it. So this is not a ban or an ending. It's basically saying we're going to buy any cures that develop from overseas. Most importantly, the compromise we reached in this country was to use embryos stored at infertility clinics that were going to be destroyed anyway. So we're not encouraging embryo destruction. We're taking advantage of the fact that we have hundreds of thousands of embryos fated to be destroyed, some of which would be donated for research. That seems to me to be the sound public policy. Dr. Shirley, if that's the case, these embryos were going to be that discarded anyway, would, would that be okay with you? That isn't the case, and I think what the public needs to hear is that this statement, and this one that people resonate with because they hear, well, they're going to be thrown away anyway, and if we didn't throw them away, we'd get these great cures from it. That's the big misconception. There have been estimated to be about 400,000 embryos that are available in this country, and the number that is in the same report uh, that might be available for research is only 11,000. And people 11,000 embryos what? would go pretty far. <laughs> You'd get a lot of um, research um, done from 11,000 embryos. No one said that even that 11,000 are going to be available. So I think it's a myth that there's so many available. And I would also put forward, since they are living human beings, our population, our society should stop and ask even if we should use those 11,000. Now, the other issue in terms of what types of research that can be done, Again, we've been told that there are these things that embryonic stem cells, human embryonic stem cells are going to bring to us. And in some ways, this is sort of put in the sort of typical research mode. And we understand that we can't predict where research is going. All right, Dr. Kaplan, that. quickly, I want to give you the final word here to wrap us up. It seems to me we've got a situation where we may find alternatives to uh, adult stem, stem cell research if we explore embryonic. People in wheelchairs, children with diabetes, they deserve the right to have this aggressively explored, and this lawsuit is making that impossible in terms of federal funding. It's slowing it down, and that's not right. We will continue to watch they the case to have as this an plays out. To have the truth. Doctors, thank you both very much for your time today. We My know pleasure. this debate is far from over. Thank you. Thank you. The fate of the JetBlue flight attendant who made that very dramatic exit down an emergency chute, beers in hand.